What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy D. Ford here. Uh, let's go with. We are coming back with another YouTube video. Today's topic is going to be my five favorite modifications that I've done to the Boosted V6. Um, the reason for this video, I know I normally upload on Thursdays, but with all the drama that's going on uh, in the, uh, the 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 community, the the auto community, Mopar community, whatever. I wanted to put out a a video about cars and not drama. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right. So, if you guys don't know, I've had this vehicle for about two years now. Um, as some of you may not know, I didn't purchase this vehicle to modify it, but it has led me into where it is now and um, I've done a lot of modifications on this bad boy and I really want to kind of do a quick video and talk about what are my five favorite modifications that I've done to this vehicle not my five modifications period that's out there that you can do to a vehicle but my five uh, top five uh, favorite modifications that I've done to this vehicle here um, so we're gonna jump into that Starting with uh, number five, which is one of my first things that I've done on this vehicle, um, besides tinting windows and vinyl wrapping and all that stuff, but it was my sound system. So like I said, number five is the sound system 212 inch JVCs here with a custom uh, enclosure box that is custom fitted for this model of the Dodge Charger. And I had it wrapped in uh, some black leather and some orange to kind of match the look of the car. Um, only downfall on this bad boy is with having the, the supercharger is this does come out like I've talked about in past videos when I accelerate. But um, I really haven't paid too much attention of getting that fixed or looking at ways around that. So if you guys do know any ways that we can do or get that uh, taken care of, make sure you hit the comments below and um, it, it's definitely, definitely much, uh, much appreciated there. So that right there is number five, one of my uh, top five favorite modifications I've done to the car. Next modification, um, we kind of do two in one, is the Ace Alloy Flowform wheels and the R1 Concepts uh, rotors. It gives the vehicle a nice aggressive look, if you ask me. Um, it doesn't look like a, you know, a little baby V6. It, it gives it a different look compared to what it looked like stock. Um, when I went with the, when I decided to go with these wheels, I knew I needed something to um, something to be able, that you'll be able to look past with the wheels. And went with the R1 concept drill and slotted uh, rotors. And like like I said, I think it gives it a hell of a nice look. And um, wrapped in some Falcon uh, Falcon tires there. So that's my number four, even though it's two, but it's two in one. We're gonna go back to the trunk on this one and number three is My air suspension now I've had my air suspension on for a little bit now and When I had got this air suspension installed shots out to Mike from uh, Stato's Auto House Status Auto House It was like a kid being in a candy store such a clean setup. I still get my trunk space and I'm having fun I know when I first got the the system installed I will pull up at red light stop signs I don't care any chance I got to hit the switches I was airing that thing all the way out and you know now I've had it on for a little bit you know I'm used to it I don't air it out as much you know I don't air it out when I'm at the house I know I normally only air it out when I'm at work besides that or if I'm taking some uh, some photos or anything like that but for the most part the car stays up but it's such a great modification that is added to the car it gives the car a totally different look from what it is when it's aired all the way up as you guys know this is a all-wheel drive vehicle so with that being said it sits up a lot higher than most Dodge Chargers which is why when I'm aired all the way down there's still some space where I can put my fingers in but I can get that changed if I wanted to um, I know when you know some Hellcats and RTs or anything like that when they air it all the way out that front lip would be touching the ground um, eventually I think I would like to get there but we'll see what happens so that's my uh, that was that was one thing that I love about the air suspension like I said it's a fun it's a fun thing if you're looking at doing it yourself definitely do the investment have some fun with it I know uh, YouTube on a budget 
I know he's working on his. I can't wait to see what that bad boy looks like. Bagged on some 24s. All right, so number two is these headlights. I got the dial dynamic color shift, uh, color change in headlights on this bad boy, complemented with the X Loom supercharged badge. So if you don't know, now you know. Um, this was a modification that as soon as this kit came out, I had purchased it and I didn't put it on the car right away, but I knew this was something that I really wanted on the vehicle. It is a quick, inexpensive modification that can turn your car from this to that in a heartbeat. No issues whatsoever. Um, probably one of the, um, obviously this is my number two, but definitely one of my favorite modifications because, you know, with the app here, you're able to go back to normal at the click of a, a, click of a button um, or really click of a touch screen there. Um, change your colors as you choose to. You can do color patterns. You can do whatever you want. You can even, you can even take a picture of something like this right here. And what does it do? Now you have the same color picture on your headlights. So that's definitely a pretty cool, um, pretty cool modification there. Like I said, if you're on the sh on the border of he's deciding, hey, do I want to do this? Um, is it worth it? You know, it does the remote works. Um, if you decide to do it, like I said in past videos, make sure you get the Bluetooth uh, adapter with it because the little remote that it comes with is pretty much garbage. But um, definitely, definitely a nice modification that gives that car a nice look there. All right, last but not least, do you, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it is my vinyl wrap of the RIP Supercharger because I have a RIP Supercharger on this bad boy. So, my favorite modification is that bad boy right there. The RIP Supercharger that really separates this car from what it was when it was stock with that supercharger it turned this car into what it is um in the beginning of customizing this car i got a lot of slack from haters from people that was asking why are you putting money into a v6 why are you doing this as soon as i put that bad boy on the whole dynamic change that whole look from pulling up and seeing that front mounted intercooler and hearing this thing whistle and hearing the air from the blow off bow come out it it made this car to what it is going from a 610 to 60 now i'm pushing at a 45 and that was in the summer so i can only imagine what it would do now we'll have to experiment that one day but pushing a 45 uh, 0 to 60 which is what i think some of my uh, buddies who have scat packs are pushing um, it's all wheel drive vehicle, so I lose a little bit of horsepower than what some people with a rear wheel drive vehicle will have, but we're pushing about 400 horsepower with this bad boy. And like I said, it really makes the car what it is. You take the supercharger away, it's just a nice looking car. Add that supercharger, it's a nice looking car that has power to make, to complement the looks of it. If you ask me so those are my top five modifications that I've done to my vehicle what are your favorite you guys know the vehicle what are some of your favorite things that you like about my vehicle obviously there's a there's a crap ton more things done to this car than just those five there but those are just five things that stand out to me five things that I enjoy about this car and um, like I said I know this video is kind of quick it wasn't used to you're not used to having my videos on just any old day but I wanted to get back to what this channel is all about. It's about cars. We're the car community. Let's get back to it. Um, let's cut the BS. Let's cut the drama. Um, definitely going into the new year. So um, look out for new things I have coming in for 2019. We're going to bring some things to the channel. We're still going to do the finance talks, help you guys reach your financial goals. I'm actually shooting a video probably today that I'm going to post tomorrow. If not tomorrow, this, definitely this Friday. But um, I think that's going to be it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And uh, until next time, we out.